Hello, my name's Michael Keneally and this video is called Understanding Neptune and we do need to understand Neptune. His gifts are sublime, his dangers are life-destroying. Um, and I'm particularly focusing in this video and blog um, about the great vision and intuition and healing potential that I have witnessed coming from the fact that Neptune is transiting Purvabhadra Nakshatra in Vedic Aquarius from May 2017 to March 2024. So this post is a tribute to the positive energies of Neptune that are possible whenever he's activated in our lives. And I have been noticing such a considerable rise in the manifestation of Neptune energies for some time. For example, student work in, well, working with the runes, the uh, alphabet of the ancient Norse, the Orum or Ogham, the tree alphabet of the ancient Irish, um, the, my shamanic healer course, and others. Um, so I want to pay tribute to the vastness of the gifts of Neptune. But of course, you also have to recognise the dangers, the secrets, the illusion and the dissolving effects that Neptune has. And I'm also doing it at this time because we're coming up in June 2020 to a Mars conjunct Neptune transit. Um, and indeed, Mars Neptune is square the eclipse axes on both of the June eclipses, June the 5th and June the 21st. Um, Mars is square the nodal axis on June the 26th. Um, Mars and Neptune are square the Sun in early June. Um, Mars is exactly conjunct Neptune on June the 13th. So I'd be very interested to see what happens and of course we are also coming up to a Neptune retrograde period starting on the 22nd of June. So I feel I have to stand up for Neptune and the wonders. I am so impressed at shamanic healer journeys in my life and in my students' life. I'm, I'm so impressed at work that can be done, vision work to contact the meaning and energy of the runes, the alphabet of the ancient Norse, and indeed including vision contact with the gods and goddesses of the ancient Norse. The same is true for the Ogham, the tree alphabet of the ancient Irish and vision contact with the gods and goddesses of the ancient Irish. Um, Neptune gives such intuition and such sensitivity to energies, for example, the, you know, to the rock energies around here, and those abilities to measure energies can be so valuable for healing, you know, body and emotions, but also, you know, for clearing problematic energies in, in, in a space, you know, around a house or in a room. All these things I have noticed so much more of since Neptune entered Purvabhadra, which of course is ruled by Jupiter. And indeed it's often said by people who know something about both Western and Vedic astrology that Neptune is like a combination, includes a combination of Ketu the South Node and Jupiter. 
He is not to be underestimated. His influence in our life is tremendous. Um, but of course he has a horrific downside. Obviously alcohol and addictions, a drain of energy. And he's so difficult to grasp hold of. You can do such wonderful, make such wonderful steps through vision work when, Neptune, when there's a Neptune activation in your life and then you can lose it all when the activation ends. It just dissolves and nothing is left. So it's so important to hear that and if you're doing that sort of work in vision work, healing work and energy work, take steps to ensure that you don't lose it. And indeed, at this time of a Neptune retrograde period coming up, well, I know loads of people who've had wonderful gifts, as I've said, when Neptune goes retrograde, they must then ground it. They must, you know, put it into form, turn it into courses, teach and promote, that sort of thing, to ensure that it roots deeper into their consciousness and their lives and is shared with others. Otherwise, it could be lost. I had an incredible peak of Neptune vision around um, 2001. I think it peaked August 2001. And that's when my um, predictive age point in psychodynamic Western astrology was, once in a lifetime, opposition Neptune in my birth chart. And I actually have an unaspected Neptune Venus subpersonality. They relate to each other and not to anything else. And what actually happened was, well, first of all, I happened, happened to see a medium who predicted that I would have clairaudience. And I had not even heard of the word clairaudience, but indeed it happened. And I heard all these words and phrases um, and then Claire Vision was added so that I, for that period, before it all faded away, saw this world often through a transparency of vision. And, and so I wrote down the words because the vision I saw was a young man of hunter-gatherer times you know, let's say 8,000 BC or something here in Ireland, um, and, and on his passage to manhood. And I wrote the words I heard into my first novel, The Tribe, and described the scenes I saw. And I also wrote the words as lyrics for a Glastonbury um, pop group. Um, and got so much out of that vision experience personally in sense of passage to manhood and the importance of the tribe. But then, yes, indeed, it did fade away and I didn't realise that that's what happens so much to Neptune. Um, you know, my life got taken on other courses and I had to move to another part of the country and, and I lost so much. But as I said, lately it's been coming back magnificently. And I'm sharing this in case it helps other people who might be watching this video or reading the blog. Um, you see, it's so important to know what gifts Neptune can give I mean, so much talk about Neptune effects is sort of sensationalism about secrets and downfalls and all this. But that's just the, the downside. It's just part of the downside. The vision dimension also needs to be honoured and understood. Um, so what else would I say? Um, well, what we could do is just look a little bit closer at Purva Bhadra Nakshatra. So the Nakshatra is the 27th sign lunar zodiac of Vedic astrology and it's supreme. The understanding it gives about your emotionally based consciousness is immense. And each Nakshatra takes its typical energy from the stars within that portion of the heavens. 
and believe me it's so accurate and believe me it's powerful and the manifestation of transits through nakshatras is unbelievably powerful um, they describe ourselves so well so here we have Neptune transit in in Purvabhadra Nakshatra from May 2017 to March 2024. Well, basically, the Vedic god equating to Neptune is Var Varuna, the lord of the sky, and later also lord of the seas as well. And he's found in the oldest layer of Vedic literature. He's the guardian of moral law, who indeed, well, it says punishes those who sin, but forgives those who err, but then have remorse. And he's the patron deity of physicians, one who has a hundred a thousand remedies. And Varuna asked Rama to remember him that he's the soul of peace and love, and wrath does not suit him, does not suit Vera, Varuna. Uh, he's lord of maya or illusion. He's the bestower of spiritual wisdom and the god of cosmic medicines. Now, obviously, this is an overlap with Neptune, who is another Indo-European god, god of the seas and fascinatingly the irish god of the seas and mists is mananan lord of the realm of the dead and um he's a you know a major god of the ancient irish but of course all of them were hammered into almost non-existence when saint patrick and his associates christian i oh, catholicized Ireland in 432, in and around 432, so he's not so well known sadly. So the point is vision is powerful, Purvabhadra's power animal is the male lion, Purvabhadra's qualities are fierce and male. This isn't some wishy-washy Neptune type energies. Uh, the, it, in the gunas, its triplicity is sattva, sattva, rajas. So there's desire there, but for spirituality. And um, the devata of Purvabhadra is associated with the fire dragon, Ajikapat, and his brother, the water dragon, Ayabunya. And these two dragons, fire and water, are the sons of Vishvakarma, the heavenly architect, do you see the richness of the symbolism here? The richness of the realms into which Neptune vision and intuition can manifest. Um, the, the whole energy is one of death, destruction and a path to rebirth. Um, I just want to highlight the fact that Mars moves into conjunction with Neptune now and um, the eclipses of June are squared and Neptune turns retrograde. I say all this because if you're on a visionary path, and that can include uh, preparing a film, you know, film producing, producing courses, doing vision work, being a healer, um, be aware. As always, you have to avoid the negatives of Neptune, which include it dissolving into nothing, like a Pied Piper of Hamlet. But also, take the steps to preserve what you have gained. So, um, I don't think I'll say any more now. If you want a reading from me, go to the buy page of my Star Wheel Astrology website. You can study the nakshatras with me on my Master Vedic Astrology website and my other Vedic and Western Astrology courses are there. I do do a Shamanic Healer course in two levels, which is absolutely wonderful. That's on my Druid Forest School website. And indeed, during this activation of Neptune, because he's so long in Purvabhadra Nakshatra, and because he's now staying so long at 26 degrees of Vedic Aquarius, during this time I set up my Sacred West of Ireland tours, 
where we visit the ancient sacred sites of Ireland in the northwest of Ireland where the oldest ones are and you know do rock energy work a geomancy work vision work and hear about like the gods and goddesses of the ancient Irish and maybe do shamanic journeying and that type of thing all this came to me from Neptune in Purva Bhadra period okay hope this was of interest thank you